Hey, my collective family, this message is going to be for my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Welcome back to another video, guys. It is Empress Meek here to drop some gems of love, light, and spiritual awareness on your path. I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you guys. It's been a minute since I've done readings like this, but let's get into it and see what message of spirit has for you today. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Gods, thank you so much for being here for me and with my fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Thank you so much for blessing and keeping my fire family and myself. Thank you for giving us messages of clarity, truth, love, and light, abundance and overflow, and victory in every situation. We appreciate you blocking and binding all negative energy, entities, witchcraft, wickedness, witches, and warlocks. We only draw from your divine realm of love, light, and spiritual wisdom and guidance. Amen. 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 Let's go ahead and get into it from my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Show me clearly, Spirit, what does Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius need to know? All right. Someone else is in the middle. Someone else is trying to sabotage a connection, a love relationship, a job, a friendship. But someone else is in the middle intervening on your connection with somebody or something. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward before we clarify. Show me more, please, Spirit. What else is going on with this situation? Spy. So there is a spy. Someone's got their eye on you, trying to find out more about you, who you are, what you do. What is it about you that has this person's attention or why this place chooses you over them? You are doing your research also to try to find out what that sugar honey iced tea is going on. What the hell is happening here? Okay, what is going on? All right, you want to know that. So I feel like you are paying attention to what's going on around you. And you're taking notes, paying close attention to what these people are saying and talking about. You also have a guardian angel watching over you. Somebody could have a guardian angel that is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This angel is watching you. They love you and they are very, very protective over you. So you do have an angel. Um, for a lot of you, it's a male and they're watching over you, okay? Show me more, please. Manifest. All right, so this says tell the universe exactly what you want. And I feel like it has a lot to do with what you want to come out of this particular situation. Also, what is it that you want to bring in your life so you won't have to keep getting these temporary situations or situations that don't really sit with you? Are you asking the universe um, specifically what it is that you want or, or, you know, what you can have? Like Spirit wants you to manifest, all right? Getting your manifestation energy. Show me more, please. Somebody could be practicing manifestations. It's time to let go. Make room for the new beginning that's on its way to you now. I feel like this situation probably no longer serves you, especially if somebody has somebody else. And just the fact that this person can intervene in your relationships mean that they are entertaining them. All right, so let's see. It's good to know, right? So let's go ahead and clarify Health issues could arise for someone or somebody could have found out that someone has health issues. So be careful. Make sure you're taking good care of yourself. All right. So let's find out what's going on. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Give me a card on this, angel. Show me clearly what message you want to bring to them today. That was three. Let's do one at a time, please. Show me clearly for fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. What do we have for the overall? All right. Somebody could need some citrine crystal unnecessary worries. It says release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. All right. So somebody here is very, very worried. I feel like about their stability and about their relationship overall. All right. And this is really hindering you. I feel like somebody is over exhausting themselves and this could bring about health issues. You may need to take some time to yourself, take some time off or make a doctor's appointment. Okay. Show me about someone else in the middle. Someone else trying to sabotage this. Show me clearly spirit. Own your divine power. It says replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. So it says, um, basically this card is telling me to tell you that 
the time for just doing things to make sure that this person's happy is over. Now it's time for you to do the things that you know you want to do. I feel like it's time for you to focus more on yourself and less on them. Let this person just go and deal with that other person they found. And then they'll soon realize that they made a huge mistake. But all you need to know is that you it's safe for you to move on. It's safe for you to focus on yourself. And better things are coming. So you do have a new beginning that's on its way to you. So release, okay? All right, it's okay to release and it's okay to stand in your power and do what makes you happy. And constantly worrying and trying to figure out what somebody's doing is making you worried. And worry blocks your finances, okay? Spy, someone's got their eye on you. You are doing your research. So let's see. Wow, two popped out. So for this spy card, we have you're ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love all right so somebody could be doing their research on you trying to find out more about you and there's a need for you to ask somebody some questions and get to know more about somebody else also we have balancing masculine and feminine energies allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence so somebody here needs to balance their energy, okay? Be inspired and be confident. You hold both of these gifts. So Spirit is saying a nice, healthy balance will bring you in more creative ideas and that brings in more lucrative income and also better opportunities in love, okay? Manifest. Tell the universe exactly what you want. Wow. Bless your heart, Ruby. It says, reach out for emotional and spiritual support and heal and mend your heart. So I feel like a lot of you are still kind of healing from a past situation that you had to let go of. Some of you are still hurting from what you're going through now. What you find out about this person, this reading is going to trigger you to do your research and you're going to find out the truth about this. And that is going to hurt. So it's okay to talk to people that you know care about your feelings. Um, and try to find ways to help you out on this journey of healing, growth, and enlightenment. I feel like you do have some beautiful things coming into you. So it's very important for you to be focused, okay? And it's very important for you to journal or write down things that you feel. Um, try to work your way through these feelings and understand what really happened and why. So you won't blame yourself or feel bad or be stuck in this sad energy, okay? Show me let go. Life-changing epiphany or experience. It is a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each and every step of the way. Wow. So I feel like this change that you're experiencing is inevitable. I feel like that's why a lot of things aren't working right now in your life because you're elevating to another level. God is ushering you, in, ushering you into this world of bigger and better things so all things are going to be new here so it's a need for you to learn how to maneuver through your feelings so you can let go of these people places and things that no longer serve you all right you're going to get something a lot better that's make room for this new beginning that's on its way to you let go okay health issues could arise let's see what this is that was quick so this says forgiveness heals Time to release repressed anger and it is blocking health and happiness. So holding on to anger and negative feelings about a person, place, or thing could be blocking you. This could be making you feel sick, feel weak, um, tired. So it's, it's a need for you to keep your balance, okay? It's the need for you to forgive, all right? And talk to someone. Maybe you need to talk something out. But um, until you are able to forgive in your heart space, you're going to be blocked, okay? This blocks your finance and your happiness and your health. Um, holding on to resentment and ill will and um, negative thinking does make you sick, all right? So if you've been wondering why you feel sluggish lately, that's why. If you're wondering why you feel tired and you just feel exhausted, you could feel negative and that could be making you just have migraines and things like that. That is what that is from. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify a little bit more and see exactly what Spirit is telling you about this situation. We're going to get the tarot now and break this down. All right, so we got the messages from the angels. Now let's move into the 
tarot and see exactly what this is that spirit is telling you but forgiveness heals that is really sticking out to me so let's find out more about this energy all right so let's clarify these messages for you holy spirit holy angels ancestors and spirit guides for my collective lovies all signs no not all signs this is for my fire signs aries leo sagittarius Show me clearly for the fire signs what is here, what's happening. The chariot card. So control, will, success, action, and war. I feel like you could be at war with somebody and you are mad. This is you in the black right here. And I feel like you are knocking everybody down. You don't care. Somebody pissed you off, okay? Somebody, it was like the last straw. All right, and you're just dang on there about to blow up on everybody. So I feel like somebody really ticked you off. And this could be another fire sign that you're dealing with. Um, death and a rebirth. So this says resistance, transformation, and inner purge. So there's some resistance here. All right, and there's a need for transformation and to process these feelings. I'm feeling there's a need to purge, to, to kind of cleanse yourself of these negative feelings and emotions. Wow, hold on, one fell on the ground. Yeah, because I feel like um the seven of coins is what fell on the ground. A long range goal, sustainable results, and persevere. So it's a need for you to persevere, continue to invest in your vision and your dream. And you've set this long range goal that you are um aspiring to reach, and you're not letting anybody stop you. Okay, so right now I feel like you're playing chestnut checkers. You're going to win no matter what. I feel like that fire energy is raising up in you and you're not about to let nobody stop you. For somebody, I hear that you've come too far to give up now. Somebody also with somebody trying to interfere in the situation. I feel like this is a situation that you've really been investing in. All right. And I feel like this is something that you're waiting for a positive turnout in. High priestess energy. So I feel like there's a need to... Um, use your intuition and be tuned into your self-conscious mind. Um, mystery is here. So I feel like you have to use your intuition so you can see that there is an interference. You may be trying to be, um, you may try to look on the bright side, um, may even make excuses for a person or some situation like, well, it's a possibility that this and this probably happened in that, but no, there's a need for you to look closer. All right. Page of wands. There is somebody that is um, much passion, passionate, but immature with their passions. So not only are they passionate with you, they're passionate with others. And there's a need for some resistance and balance when it comes to that. Somebody is very explorative and very adventurous. All right. So they're exploring. Somebody likes to be free. They're like a free spirit. Um, so yeah, there is somebody here interfering in a connection or something, and it's a need for you to use your intuition here. Knight of Swords. This is ambitious, action-oriented, driven, and fast thinking. So this could be somebody who is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody who is just, they dive right in without thinking so much. But um, yeah, there's a need for you to examine this person or situation a little closer. There is somebody interfering. And I feel like your intuition has been telling you that, but you've been ignoring it. Show me what the fire sign needs to do in this situation with somebody else invest, um, somebody else interfering. What is this page of wands energy? Knight of Cups. So this is somebody who is romantic and a charmer. All right, this is somebody that is talking to everybody and expressing themselves. Um, I feel like to everybody. Yeah, I feel like this person is um probably going from person to person. Show me spy. Could be a water sign. Because we have Pisces here and then we have the Knight of Cups. So somebody could be dealing with a Pisces that they're investing in, but this person is a bit reckless. They're a free spirit. So they want to date and see who they want. And they might not be telling you and everything. So with this spy card, there's a need for you to try to figure this out and see exactly what's going on here. We have happiness, vitality, confidence, fun, and success, the sun card. All right. So this could be a Leo. 
that is spying on you, okay? So you could have a Leo that is spying or somebody is spying on my Leo trying to figure out who you are, what you're doing, like what's what's been going on in your life. Also, they could be trying to find out um, if you're dating anybody else. Show me spy in the sun card. We have the nine of cups, contentment, satisfaction, and gratitude. So I feel like somebody is wishing for you possibly and they're spying on you. And I feel like somebody wants their cups filled. I feel like somebody really, really likes you and they are waiting for you to either notice them or come back toward them. It's something like that. Show me manifest. Eight of Swords, this person is stuck in this victim mode, victim mentality. Maybe they feel like they can't come towards you. <laughs> Somebody wants to communicate with you, but they can't. Imprisonment and negativity. Somebody has some negative thinking or they spoke very negatively to you. They're thinking about these conversations that you've had. Next, we have Manifest. So let's look at Manifest. So we have the ace of coins here and you're manifesting a new opportunity. But five of swords. So somebody could be feeling bad about not being able to have a relationship with you. Yeah, it looks like this might be somebody who had a recent relationship with you. Um, somebody may be feeling bad because they can't talk to you anymore or they feel like they ruined this relationship. I feel like this person spoke to you very negatively. Okay, I feel like somebody was just nasty, rude, mean. They said a bunch of things that they can't take back, and now this haunts them. This is what's keeping them from coming towards you. So they're just fine on you. They're not saying anything to you. Yeah, I feel like somebody was manifesting this, or you manifested a relationship and they ruined it. The universe wants to know exactly what you would like to see come out of your situation as far as your finances and your love life. All right, so there's a need for you to be specific here. Let go, make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. All right, so here you are, Knight of Wands, okay? Um, I feel like if I'm talking to a Leo, there could be somebody that's spying on you or you're spying on somebody. Somebody here wants to pursue something and you feel like you can't. The um, Spirit is telling you that you do have options, opportunities, and choices um, but don't be fooled by illusions, okay? Don't be fooled by the illusions. That's why it's important that you be very specific while you're manifesting exactly what you want. Knight of Wands, energy, passion, action, inspiration. So you're very inspired, all right? But somebody else here has their eye on somebody. Um, but this is going to be a lover situation. I feel like somebody feels bad that they can't be in a relationship or they're not choosing somebody for a relationship. But as far as a lover situation, they definitely wouldn't mind exploring that. All right. So somebody could definitely have met a fire sign today or my fire signs. You could have met somebody that you may not want a full blown relationship with this person, but you do want to talk to them more. You do want to find out more about them. But I feel like there may be somebody else in the picture. OK, we got the page of coins underneath the bottom of the deck manifestation financial opportunity and skill so i feel like you're manifesting something here with somebody and you're hoping for a lover situation well we'll see what happens i will be back later on to draw some more about this energy that is surrounding you um let's find out one about health what is this health issues could arise i feel like it's just making you sad if when you're thinking about this Everything that you don't have. Ten of Swords, a painful end, deep wound, betrayal, loss, and crisis. Yeah, so somebody could be going through something here. Um, and it could be your health. Or the health issues could be mentally, maybe heartbreak. Or something here, there's some type of crisis here. Something here that's not good. So I feel like there's some type of betrayal. 
somebody could have a health issue and that's why they can't come towards you. This is why they can't be in a relationship or they can't come towards you. It's something. Or maybe you want to go towards somebody, but this health situation is in the way. Eight of Wands, it says fast action, fast pace, alignment, and travel. But I do see some type of communication here. So I feel like somebody is still going to talk to someone. But it's only so far you're going to be able to go with this person or something of that nature. Somebody may need to make take action and go make a doctor's appointment or go and get a checkup or check on their health. Because there may be something here that you don't know about. Ten of Swords. All right. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Um, I definitely love you and I mean it. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. And I will be back to tell you a little bit more about this energy. But for now, your advice from spirit. Lessons. Karma teaches what you need to grow and there are no mistakes. You never lose. You always learn. So your advice is to learn from this situation. Learn from everything that has happened over time. So you can know how to move in the situation that you have here. Um, I hear try to control your anger. Try to control your frustrations. Control your temper. Okay. All right, guys. I love you and I mean it. Bye.